insanity, along for this crazy ride of ours. And I'm Mazentius, your guide for another crazy game. Called the Company of Myself. And this game? It's old, I love it, and I know that you haven't played this. No, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So let's get into it. If you have a minute, I'd like to tell you a bit about myself. The first thing you need to understand is that I am alone. I've been alone for a pretty long time now. I'm used to it. I'm content. Before I became more or less a hermit, I found that I had two passions in life. One was performing, even today. When I find that I can't relate to others, I can still stand in front of them and make them laugh or surprise them. This irony is strong enough to taste. It doesn't taste good. In case you're wondering, my second passion was a girl named Catherine, but I'll get to her later. I generally face the same day-to-day -day problems every other person except... Wow. Didn't I say before that this was really fast to read? This is take two, by the way. We aren't doing a take three. So you could just read that last bit on your own. <laughs> My attention is stolen by a green square on the other end of the room. I want to be its friend more than anything that I, I've ever wanted. I decided to use the arrow keys to approach it. Wow, that's fourth wall breaking. <laughs> this game does. Also, there is not a crouch button. There's no crouch button. <laughs> The square does not react in my approach. Does it not notice me? Also, oh, oh, sorry. Which, which would, would be, be worse? worse? Press R. Oh no. Oh, fine. Does it not notice me? Or is it only pretending not to notice me? Which would which be, be worse? worse? Plus, I can see that the green square is actually a door. I think that we can be friends anyway. I decide to push the space bar to move to the next room. Wow. Spotting a couple of platforms ahead, I decide to use the up arrow key to jump over them. I don't know if I need a running start on that one. Probably not. Take that, platforms! <laughs> I decide that Mr. Door is a better friend than the platforms. Also note that I can pause the game by pressing P or escape, I think. Now that risk is involved, jumping on platforms doesn't seem as easy to me. I start thinking about how awful it would be to fall. Luckily, I know that I can press the R key at any time to restart the level. <laughs> like now! I find myself proud of, and possibly surprised by, my ability to leap over herring gaps. Even from back here I can tell that the ledge ahead is too high for me to jump. I begin to wonder what would happen if I pressed the space bar before I completed a level. What? I feel confused, and a bit tingly, but mostly just confused. Wow, I'm glad I just stood there for a really long time before I moved and pressed spacebar. I briefly attempt to think of something to think. Nothing worthwhile emerges. Besides the help me in the upper right hand corner. I haven't talked to anyone lately, but at least I can solve my own problems. Jump. No. Come on. I could use that to my advantage, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No! Oh, I meant to press up when I. No. Uh, oh, well. Space? 
space. Yeah. Well, I already like fell down, so. <laughs> no, no. This is all gonna just show all of my failures. All right. This. I don't know who goes where. Who goes where and does what? If you jump, you'll find out. Okay. Look at that cluster of like a whole holy crud. I don't. Oh, let's just ride one of my phantom me's. Oh, oh, well. One of my phantom me's decided to move at the very last moment and kill me. Okay, let's just keep hitting spacebar, cause why the frig not? I'm gonna wait until all these phantoms decide to move. Okay, just one more space bar. Hopefully, look at oh, look at just what what the frig is going on here, man. You failing? Just. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yep. Last, last phantom me. <laughs> let's, let's hope this is the end of me having to press that spacebar. Don't fall in the hole. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I see a wall. I am dispatched. This area down below is irritatingly spacious. I think to myself that the best course of action is to pull this level by pressing the A key. Okay. I guess space bar cause... I will need to do that for myself. Come on. Come on, shadow me! <laughs> Good. I am grateful of my above average ability to work alone. Um, I I don't know if that's working alone because I have a shadow phantom mm -hmm. me right there. <laughs> I I really don't. I notice a strange force field to this room. I've become gradually more and more curious. Uh. I find myself unable to comprehend the purpose of this force field. It doesn't seem to block me at all. Okay. Can I... Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay. Well, it blocks my phantoms. Is it gonna say anything about that? Oh no. And I can't jump up there. It's not gonna give me any anything else? Wait. You were all oh, I can't cross. Well, understanding the force field, I noticed that this room's field is greenish instead of pinkish. Oh, great. So... Keep going. I guess keep walking against this wall. Yep. Go, Shadow Me, go! Hurry up! <laughs> no, don't go... I uh, just keep walking. It moves in accordance to how you move. Staring at this worthlessly large staircase, I reflect on my past struggles. Oh. Let's see if that works. No? 
you only had one that you could create, and you created by accident. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Luckily for me, no one was watching as I hopped around like a crazy person. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay. I search for reasons why I don't desire companionship. That's not going to work. <laughs> okay, well... And you use up your one extra rewind. Wait, what? You can see how many rewinds you have in the upper left. How is... What am I supposed to do? Press R. So... Fall down onto the red. Now... Stay there, then start moving to the right. Just go. And clone. See if you can figure it out from here. Go clone. Yeah. No, no just I'm not touching anything. I'm too scared. <laughs> uh. I still want avoidance of the issue. I can clearly get by without others anyways. I find myself unable to leave the question alone. Why can I not be with people? I instantly notice how similar this room looks to the previous one, and I almost feel cheated until I realize that my previous tactic will not work again. Yeah... They'll just go right on through, right? Yeah. Now, you have infinite lives, infinite tries. They'll go on. They'll go right on through, right? It will. Yep. So, think. How did you solve the other one? Mmm, okay. I need to make a clone of myself and then... Oh, shit. Not quite. Because you want your clone... To not walk. I know. Exactly. Alright. Really long time to sit. Okay. And hopefully now jump. Okay. Go down. Uh, please wait my shadows self. <laughs> the timing is slightly off. Okay. It worked. It doesn't take long for me to understand that I'm going to need some timing to get through here. So that one first. That one second. Bar. 
Shit. <laughs> and you have infinite tries, so. Oh, <laughs> great. More shadows. This game is very peaceful. Oh! <laughs> Almost! <laughs> this is so bad! You're the one that's up your timing. I know. I suck at timing. Now you know they have to jump after your second one does. Yep. That's a very, very close thing to do. There we go. Holy sweet goodness. Three. No! <laughs> I count to three really fast. Okay. Well, <laughs> shite. It definitely is not easy. Sometimes it helps to have things marked as to what is going to be your success. Yes! I tried. You got there. You just needed one last. Leap. I know. I know. I know. I did. It's just, man. It's interesting how you can see all your successes, all your failures. Oh well, I should have jumped with the second one. Shoot. <laughs> Now you know to jump with the third. Yes! Yes! I've gotten used to the idea of solving mental problems. But I still enjoy a test of my physical capabilities here and there. I think back to the first day that Catherine and I met. Our paths converged, and suddenly we were a team. This was before I was as reclusive as I have become today, so I had not learned to truly multitask yet. The talent grew out of ample necessity. Okay, apparently I can't interact with her? Her approach was quiet, as was my response. The connection was instant and unmistakable. A team. Oh, that's so weird. Mutual. solve it together. Today, I find myself solving the same problems alone. I was underappreciative, plain and simple, didn't understand just how much I needed her, how much she needed me. Perfect. Everything. It was all perfect. I helped 
her and she up to me. It's mutual. I never suspected the end to come so quickly. Oh, what? We have this freaking sacrifice her? Oh my gosh. Can we just sacrifice him instead? You can try. I want to try. Oh my gosh, I want to try. Oh, I can't even... I can't jump on her. That's the censure right there. Holy crud. You killed her. You essentially killed her. So. But she was gone! I'm not gonna dwell on it! And now I find myself alone. I can't handle talking to people anymore. Internally, I visualize an oversight man yelling, CHECKPOINT! Press space. Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> Press R. I'm waiting for timing and me being slow as shit. <laughs> Alright. to just do the same exact thing. Yeah. Please. Please. Ugh. You made it. <laughs> Yay! I didn't <laughs> fall immediately. This is great. It's progress. Okay. Waited a little bit too long. I gradually consider how the ability to start over from a different perspective would have been helpful early in life, but I could have let Catherine not meet me in the first place. That's profound. And like this, I continue. Oh shoot, I wanted to... I don't like Spacebar being this. But then, you know, can't. Oh, well, I could just let them stand there forever. <laughs> All right, that works. Um, also, space. Yeah, it's not going to be that simple. Uh, no. All the jumps hops for days. I think it would be easier if you just stayed on the flower instead and built a stack up. Fine! If you got them all to stand on top of your head by having them jump. Press R. Gosh darn it.
that might not have been enough. Nope. <laughs> nope! Space bar. <laughs> And try and get on top of your body. Nope. No, no, you can't. You can't. Oh, shoot. Just. Ugh. Get all of yourself over. <laughs> all of myself is now over. What? Don't leave yet. I have more to say. I really do. And now the fun part and the hard part. You have no choice. You just have to start leaping across. It's not going to work. I like your ingenuity, but... I tried. Also, I'm not even pressing the up button. <laughs> Jump! For frig's sakes. Also... You just have to keep doing this. Good thing you can get oh, multiple. Oh, I almost, I almost got over. Oh, there it goes. Yep. You're getting better. <laughs> oh! I got over. Not one of my shadows. I got over. Are you really leaving? Yes, apparently. I've been tasked with psychoanalyzing Jack after his mental breakdown. In general, he recalls his life very accurately. The things he says lines up with all of the records. The first problem is that he doesn't seem to remember any of my visits. I've talked with him once a week for the past eight years and he always tells me the same things as if we have never met before. He describes himself as a loner and this makes a whole lot of sense as he has been kept in solitary confinement for the duration of his stay at the hospital. He always briefly tells me about his life and he eventually gets into the story about how he lost a loved one, Catherine. He understands that she has died and he certainly feels at least somewhat responsible. He murdered her! Yeah! Yep. Uh, he considers her death to be the reason that he can't talk to people anymore. I suppose, in a way, that is correct. Final report. Severe mental... Uh, too dangerous to be released. Oof. Yeah, the scrolling is a bit fast. 
Yeah, especially since there's a lot of text. And then, of course, credits. Yep. So, what do you think of this? Um, well, we just went into the mind of a mental patient. Um, that is sort of coping with amnesia of some sort? Because of the trauma of, you know, killing someone? I guess at the end of the day, people don't kill other people. It's bad. The shrink leaves and suddenly... I don't even have a person to tell my story to anymore. We are the shrink. We are the shrink in this game. Or were we the guy, Jack? I don't... I think we were Jack, because that was his story that we just played through. Yeah, but... The shrink? Regardless of him, the character that we were playing as... We were telling the story to the shrink. Or were we the ones listening to that story? Because we didn't know... Well, we didn't know the story while it was unfolding. So he was technically telling us. But it's sort of sad if you think about it, this whole situation. He was traumatized by what happened to Catherine. Uh, that he murdered her face. Was it on purpose? Was it an accident? If the word murder is involved, it is on purpose. However, in the case of this storyline, it technically was not on purpose. But the word murder means that there is intent to kill. I, don't I think tried to jump, have him jump on her head to get over. That is a character choice that he sacrificed her face. Yes. Yeah. Also, the beast hungers. <laughs> yes. I'm hungry, apparently. Anyways, I'm Mazentius. And I'm Insanity. And we are the Crazy Gamers. This was the company of myself. And this is the end.